Do you want to create a free dropshipping website with a free domain name and free web hosting? If yes, then keep watching this video. Hey guys, Rana here. By watching this video, you'll be able to create a website like this. This amazing free dropshipping website has all the features that every dropshipping website must have. In the top header section, you can see the logo area where you can replace this logo with your logo. Right next to the logo, we have a search bar where anyone can search the available products on your site. Alongside the search bar, we have the My Account button and Cart icon. Below, we have the All Categories menu and the Normal menu. In the middle of the website, we have different types of sections. In the footer area of this website, you can add information about your site, some important links and contact details. By clicking on the Cart icon at the bottom right, your customer can see their cart items. When someone hovers their mouse over any product, they can see different types of buttons. This website has a separate product comparison page. Your customer can compare products using this page. Let's add the product to the cart page. Click on View Cart. And this is going to be the cart page. On this page, your customer can apply coupon codes to get the discount. Let's click on Proceed to Checkout. And this is going to be a beautiful checkout page. On this page, your customer has to fill in the billing details to proceed with the payment method. Additionally, they can create an account or they can log into the existing account. Finally, they can complete the payment with their desired payment getaways. As always, this is going to be a step-by-step -step video tutorial. You'll find the timestamp code in the video description so that you can watch any part of this video using the timestamp code. So without wasting more time, let's get started. All right, to create a free dropshipping website, there are two required things, free domain name and free web hosting. And I'll compare free web hosting with paid web hosting and we will see the pros and cons of them. So before I show you, how to get free domain name and web hosting. I will show you a very important step which is dropshipping niche research. First, we'll see how I do the dropshipping niche research and then I'll walk you through how to get a free domain name and free web hosting. So, are you ready? Let's get started with our first step. I personally use Google Trends and ChatGPT for my dropshipping niche research. So, first go to ChatGPT and type, please provide me dropshipping niche ideas. Let's see what we can discover. You'll notice that ChatGPT is providing information about various dropshipping niches. If you're already familiar with these niches and none of them pique your interest, you can ask ChatGPT for more ideas. Let's see how it works. ChatGPT can suggest additional dropshipping niche ideas for you to consider. Now suppose you still wish to select a niche even if you're not personally interested in it. For instance, let's say you're exploring the fashion niche despite having no personal interest. In this case, you might struggle to succeed in your dropshipping journey unless you have a genuine passion for it. Therefore, it's essential to choose a niche you're genuinely interested in. To begin, you can copy the niche name. For example, let's copy car accessories and then go to Google Trends. Open the first website, navigate to the menu, select Explorer and choose the country where you intend to operate your dropshipping business. If like me, you're from India but want to target the United States, select the United States as your location. The time element is typically fine and the web search category is appropriate. Type in car accessories and you'll see the trend over time. As of my recording in September, you can observe that car accessories are a popular niche in the United States. However, it's crucial to note that trends can change. As of this month, it appears to be declining. But if you have a genuine interest in this niche, you can proceed with it. In a similar fashion, you can explore other niches, simply enter the niche term and observe its popularity. You should base your dropshipping niche selection on your personal interest. Once you've decided on your niche, the next step is finding a domain name related to your chosen niche. Here's how I approach domain research. I use a tool like ChatGPT to generate domain name ideas related to my niche. Initially, it provides long tail domain names, but I prefer shorter ones. Therefore, I request shorter domain name ideas from the tool. Afterward, I ask domain names are available to buy. It says that I unable to check the real-time availability of domain names, but that's not a problem for me. From the list generated by the ChatGPT, 
I select a domain name that aligns with my niche. Once I've decided, I copy the domain name. Now you're ready to obtain your free domain name. Open a web browser on your computer and enter the following URL. You can also find the website link in the video description. Scroll down on the website to find the free domain offers section. Here you can see the top level domain extensions available for free, such as .pro and .uk. Choose the one that suits your business goals. If you have a bit more budget flexibility, consider a .com domain, which is popular. Select your desired domain extension and you'll be directed to a page with details. Let's explore how to get a free domain name for your business. For a .pro domain extension, click on Offer Details. It will take you to a website where you can click on a coupon code button, which will automatically apply the code. Enter the domain name you want to register and click Search to check its availability. If the domain is available, you can register it for free for one year. Keep in mind that after the first year, there may be a renewal fee. To complete the process, click the Add to Cart button, proceed to checkout, and follow the steps to create an account if you're a new user. Fill in the required details, confirm, and you're all set. Please make sure to write your verification code and complete the further verification process. During the verification process, it will ask you for your government ID and so on to get this free domain name. A person can register one domain name. Since I have already registered the free domain name on this website, I cannot register anymore. So let's close this tab and come back to this website and click on Open Spaceship button. You'll land on spaceship.com. Here, click on the domain search bar and type the domain name that you want to buy. For example, I'm going to type fixitride.com. Now come back to this site and copy the promo code. After copy the promo code, go to spaceship.com and click on Add to Cart button. And then click on View Cart. Next, type the promo code under Add Promo Code section. And then click on Apply. Now you can see the price has reduced to $0.81. After apply the promo code, click on Checkout. In the next page, create an account if you don't have. Since I already have the account on this website, I'm going to log in. Now you'll receive a verification code in your mailbox. Go to your mail account and open Spaceship's email. Copy the verification code, come back to this page and paste the code here and then click Verify. It's time to add the payment method. I am going to add a credit card. Here, you have to add the card details. After adding the card details, add your billing address. Add the phone number and click on save. After adding your billing address and your card information, click on save. Now it says domain contacts required. On add it, select your billing address and click apply. Okay, so after doing it, you can pay this amount to get this domain name. But before that, I wanna show you guys this domain name renewal price is $9.55 cent, $9.55 cent a year, which is typically regular price for any domain out there, okay? But when will you renew your .pro domain? It costs you more than $15, okay? So remember that .pro domain is expensive domain. So we usually go for .com domain. Right now, it's almost a free domain name. So I'm gonna buy it, click on pay now, and pay this amount click next all right guys so you can see that we just bought this domain name and now let's click over here go to home let's go to launchpad do it later let's find your domain name scroll down this is my account and here you can see that order transitions book so on and so forth and find the domain name and here you can see the advanced dns and domain list click on that domain list button and this is the domain name guys skip for now and click on connection under the connection, click on connect and select the custom name server. Click on continue. And here you have to type the name server. So leave this page as it is. Now, let me show you guys where to get a free web hosting. Open a new tab and perform a Google search for Infinity Free. In Infinity Free, open the first website. You'll find the same website link in the video description as well. Let's click on agree. And on this website, you will get a free web hosting. All you have to do, just click on register now. Let me quickly sign in because I already have account. Click on agree after signing in. Here you can see that it will give you three accounts or basically it will allow you to add three domain names on one particular account or you can say that it allow you to create a three website in one particular account. One account is activated and two is left. Let's go ahead create an account. Close the ad and select the custom domain 
type your domain name. This is my domain name. Click on check availability. And here you have to type the account label. Account username will automatically generate it for you. Account password and click on create account. And now you can see that it says that your domain is not pointing to our name server. You have to add these name servers. So let's copy these name servers and let's go back to your website. Let's go back to the spaceship dot com and here this is the page where we left off paste the name server and paste the name server once again and just change this number to 2 ns1 ns2 infinityfree.com should be like this and click on continue and then all you have to do just click on finish configuration and click on i'm done so now you may have to wait for 24 to 48 hours to connect your domain name with fe.net sometime it connects instantly and sometime it takes time so let's check out the DNS for this domain name. To do it, open a new tab, type dnschecker.org and type the domain name over here. And from the drop down list, select NS because we are looking for name server. Click search and let's see. And you can see that in some location, it says ns one infinityfree.com. On some location, it is not updated, okay? In that case, we may have to wait some more time in order to update the name server. Why don't we just check, is it working or not right now? Let's come back to this page and over here, type the password once again and click on create account and let's see what it says. Okay, so as you can see that the message, error message has gone. Now it says your account has been created with the username. You can click on finish button and now you can see that our web hosting is ready. And you will get all the information like your FTV details and MySQL database. Each and everything you will get with this free web hosting. This is one of the best free web hosting out there that I used to use when I just getting started with my dropshipping business or my website journey. But right now I don't use the infinity free hosting, free hosting or any other company who provide free hosting. I use paid hosting because there are several reasons for that. In fact, let me show you. Right now I'm using Hostinger's hosting because this is the affordable hosting and there are several other features that you are going to get when you buy this hosting. I'm from India right now. It says .in. If you are living in another country, it does might be different. It may say .com or .net. It depends on the country or location where you accessing this website. Okay. So right now it's .in anyways. You can see that if you click on the claim deal, it'll cost you 149 per month or if you come over here hosting click on web hosting and you can see that there are several plans out there if you go for single plan it costs you 69 indian rupees per month and you can see you can host one website if you go for 149 it will give you a free domain name but in this case we already have a domain name so you don't have to go for this one but you can select this hosting package as well. So remember that this package comes with the standard performance, 50 gigabyte of storage and unlimited free SSL certificates and few other features that you are going to get with this package guys. Awesome. And it is 99.9% .9 uptime. That means your site won't down unless you make weird things on your website or you make any mistake from your end. Your website speed will be like light speed. So this is a very affordable plan. If you have some budget, you can go for this package as well. Okay. Buy a free domain name from this website and get a premium web hosting from hostinger.com. Okay. Link in the video description. You may get more discount out of this package if you click on that link because you will get a coupon code. Anyways, we are not going to buy the hostinger web hosting. Like I promise you guys, we will stick with the free domain name and free web hosting. So let's go ahead, click on control panel. And now let's move to the next step. In this step, we are going to look at how to install WordPress. When you open the control panel first time, it says approve or disprove. Click on I approve. All right. So you can see that this is the infinity panel. It's just like a C panel, premium C panel guys. And here you can see that all the features and functionality that you'll see on cPanel hosting. So here, what you can do, click on software class apps installer under the software. Let's click on that. Sometime what happened is it don't allow you to install WordPress because we are using free uh, hosting guys. 
that's why I'm telling you guys you should go for premium hosting. And let's see if this works or not. It's been a long time since I'm going to click on this button. I used to use free web hosting. So now I'm back here to use this free thing guys. Anyways, click on install under the WordPress. And here you have to select the destination, select your domain name. And right now I'll go with the HTTP and rest of things are good. And here you can see the site name and the description. You can change it later. And most important is the admin account. Remember this information like your username and password. This will be your WordPress dashboard login, a username and password. Keep that information in mind. Admin sister email, it should be your guys. Do not type the fake email over here. In fact, let me change the site title description later. The rest of things are good here. Language is good. Select the plugin that you want to install. Yeah, rest of things are good here. Simply click install at the very bottom. Save time and see if we are able to install this WordPress. Okay, right now it says WordPress has been installed successfully. Good, good. Now you see two links. By clicking on the first link, you will see your website. By clicking on the second link, you can access your WordPress dashboard. Let's click on the second link. See if it is working or not. Awesome guys. So you can see that we have successfully installed a WordPress and this is our domain name. Everything has been working perfectly fine till now. Let's close this out. In fact, let's go to screen option and remove these panels because I like to work with neat and clean design. And now in the next step, I'll show you guys how to clean up your WordPress website. Let's have your mouse over plugins, click on install plugins. And if you do not know what is plugin, plugins will add the extra functionality to your website. It's just like a superpower of a superhero. So different plugins provide different types of functionality. I don't like these two plugins that comes with the default WordPress. I'm going to remove them. Select delete, apply after remember that information. And now have your mouse over appearance and click on themes. If you do not know what is theme, well, theme will change the look of your website. When you install different, different types of theme on your website, different theme has different look. Okay, right now, these are the default themes that comes with the WordPress installation is 2022 theme. Delete this and 21 theme one as well, but I cannot delete it one. This one 2023 theme. I can delete this theme later when I install a new theme. Now, let me give you overlook of the backend. This is the backend guys. Click on the dashboard. I forget to overview the backend. In the left hand side, you will see all the features and functionality to customize your website. In the middle, you will see all the features that you have selected. For example, if I go to plugins or non-installed plugins and you install plugins area. Okay. So now this is the backend, but this isn't the view that your, your visitor going to see. The view that your visitor going to see is the front end. When you hover your mouse over here, right click open link in a new tab. And here you can see front end of your site. Awesome, right? But right now, there is nothing here, no content here. We will create a website exactly like that I've shown you in the beginning of this video. So right now I'm going to close this out and let's move to the next step, which is the essential settings of WordPress. So before I show you the essential settings or the basic settings of WordPress, let me close these tabs because we don't really need them. I'm going to close this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and chat GPT. Also, I'm going to close that one. So after close, okay. So after closing the rest of the tabs, now let me show you how to do a essential settings of WordPress. How you mouse over settings, click on general. And here you can see that the site title and tagline. Remember, I've told you earlier, you can change it later. This is the place where you can change your tagline and site title. Let's change the tagline. Best auto gear, best auto tools. Next, so WordPress address URL and site address URL should be the same guys. Do not change them. Okay. So next we have the administrator email address. It should be the original email address guys. Do not type the fake email or tamp email over here. Remember that you can add a business email over here if it possible. If you do not know what is business email is, well, you may have seen emails like info or support at domain name dot com and something like that. Those type of email called a business email. Okay. If it possible, add a business email. If you do not know how to create a business email, leave a link in the video description and I'll show you how to create a business email for free. Okay. And next we have the membership. Check this box. Anyone can register because 
This is going to be an e-commerce website. We allow customer to create an account to track their orders. Okay, so very important. Anyone can assist on your site. The new user uh, default role should be what? Uh, it should be customer right now. There is no option for that, but you can change it later when we install a WooCommerce plugin. Okay, so scroll to scroll down and change the site language if you want. English would be fine, and change the uh, time zone. I'm from India. I'm gonna type mine. This is my time zone. You can change the date format and time format according to your country. This is completely fine and click on save changes. And next, uh, reading, writing, so you can skip it. Go or discussion and media, skip it. Everything, skip it. The important setting is the permalinks. And here, this is very important settings for your website SEO. Make sure set it to post name. If it's something else, click on the post name, scroll down and click on save changes. Okay. Finally, we have the privacy, and this is also a important setting, guys. Right now, you can see there is a two pages over here: privacy policy and sample page. This is the default privacy policy page. Once you finish building your website, you have to create your own privacy policy page. After creating your privacy policy page, come back to uh, this uh, privacy under the settings. Select your original privacy policy page and use this page. If you do not know how to create a pages, all you have to do just come over here pages and click on add new in fact let me show you how many pages are there by default you can see by default there is a two page privacy policy and sample page let's preview the privacy policy page and let's see you can see this is the dummy privacy policy page if you do not know how to create a privacy policy page and other essential pages for every e-commerce website or your dropshipping website i've already write an article about the essential pages of e-commerce you can check that link in the video description and copy my essential pages. All you have to do, just replace my email with your own and replace the domain example.com with your own domain name and the rest of the text should be the same. Copy paste all the pages on your own dropshipping website and you're good to go. Create all the essential pages like return and refund policy, privacy policy, DMCA and few other pages, okay? So I'm gonna remove this page, sample page, because I don't really need it. So right now I'm gonna leave this as it is. We'll delete it later on once you add your own privacy policy page, okay? So with that, you're done with the essential settings of WordPress. Let's go to the dashboard and let's proceed with the next step. All right guys, so in this step, we are going to install a theme and that theme going to change the look of our website and give a brand new design for our dropshipping website okay so to install a theme hover your mouse over appearance and click on themes and click on add new and come over here and search for shop mania and now select this theme and click on install after that click on activate so now theme has been installed and activated successfully so now we are going to install a dummy templates installing a dummy template will be easier for us to build our dropshipping website so that's what we want. We don't want to waste our time on building a single web page if we can get a free beautiful design for our dropshipping website. Why would we waste our time? Okay. So in that case, so in that case, we are going to install a dummy template. Click on install demo. After that, now click on install under the import demo content. Now click on the import demo button beside the activated button, which is right now invisible. Okay. Click on the import demo button. And now you will see this drop down button. Select the page builder that you like. I like Elementor. I'm going to select the Elementor. You can close this out. Let's go back here. TH import demo site. Now select the template that you like. Some of them are free and some of them are paid. So in this video, we are going to create dropshipping website with all free resources. So I like to install this demo site. I'm going to click on it. All I have to do just click on install plugins button and it will install all the required plugins to build this type of beautiful website as you can see that guys. Okay, so it takes time. So I'm gonna speed the video up and I'll come back once it's done. So as you can see that these plugins are installed and activated successfully. Now click on import this site, click okay. So again, this process may take some time. So I'm gonna speed the video up and I'll come back once it's done. Alright guys, so as you can see that demo site has been imported successfully. 
Now you can visit your site just by clicking on the done view site button. You can click over here or you can click over here. Both are the same thing. Let's view the site. So as you can see that we have successfully imported the dummy site. Each and everything has been imported successfully. Now we have beautiful looking e-commerce website ready to start our dropshipping business. And now all you have to do, you just need to customize this website. I'll show you how you can customize this website later in this video. But now let's look at the another step. Let's close this tab and close this one as well. Let's go to the dashboard. I'm going to close this one as well. Let's click on screen option. Let me uncheck all of these widgets because you know I like to work with neat and clean design. And here you can see that there is a message that says that your store does not appear to be using secure connection. That means your website does not have SSL certificate. SSL certificate stands for secure socket layer. If you want to install SSL certificate on your website, which is very important guys, if you're running an e-commerce website, you must have SSL certificate installed on your website to gain more trust of your visitor. Okay, because SSL certificate secure the sensitive information of a user on your website. If you go to infinity free, here you can see that this website also provide a free SSL certificate, but there is some limitation on this free SSL certificate when you install through the infinity free. Let me show you what are those limitation. If I click on the knowledge base, open link in a new tab. And here, if I click over here, HTTPS and SSL, and here you can see so many topics. Let's click on the first one. And here you can see which free SSL provider do you support. They provide let's unscript, go get SSL, zero SSL, and Google Trust, and so on and so forth. But if you look at here, if you install let's unscript, it will valid only for 90 days. And moreover, if you look at here, Go get SSL. This is valid for 90 days as well. Basically, all those SSL valid for 90 days, except this one, self sign SSL. This valid for 10 years. But in this case, you have to install SSL certificate manually. But if you like to install SSL for 90 days, there is a link that you can install SSL. Let me close this tab. And here you can see a free SSL certificate. And here you can install SSL for 90 days. So I'm not going to install a free SSL certificate for 90 days and I'm not recommending you to install free SSL certificate for 90 days. Instead, you can do one thing. You can go to my YouTube channel and in this search bar, you can search for free SSL, press enter and you will see several videos that shows you how to install free SSL certificate for 15 years. And in these videos, we will install SSL certificate from Cloudflare. And I think most of you already familiar with Cloudflare. Anyways, let's go back to your website in the dashboard or you can say the back end of your site. Let's proceed with the next step. And now we're going to look at the WooCommerce plugin setting, which is the very important settings for every single e-commerce website out there. As you know, this is a dropshipping website, which is known as an e-commerce website. Let's have your mouse over WooCommerce and let's set up our WooCommerce plugin, click on the settings. And here you can see we have a bunch of options, bunch of tabs like general product shipping and so on. We'll look at all of them one by one. But first, let's see the general tab. Under the general tab, we have the store address. Here, type in the store address. You don't have to type the real store address. You can type in your home address over here because we are doing a dropshipping business, not running a proper e-commerce business. Let's quickly type in the address over here. Select your country or state. Again, this is not really important. I'm going to type my country, India, Punjab. This is my country, this is my state. Type the zip code, selling location, shipping location, leave it as it is. Scroll down, enable taxes. Let's go ahead and enable tax rate and calculation. And I'll show you how you can config that. Let's scroll down and let's see. We have another option, enable coupons. I'll show you how you can create a coupons code to provide a best discount. This is a best practice for every e-commerce business out there to increase their sale. Basically what they do, they create a coupons code on any particular product or any category or entire category or entire website. It's all up to you. You can do it that way or you can create coupons code for particular category or product. Okay, so make sure you enable this option. Next, leave this option as it is. 
calculate coupons discount separately i'm gonna leave it unchecked below you can see we have the currency option make sure you select the currency right currency where you like to start your dropshipping business so in this video i told you earlier that i like to drop ship uh, drop ship in united states so i'll go for us dollar uh, currency position left uh, 1000 separator rest of things are good here let's click on save changes as soon you do that as soon you enable the uh, taxes you will see new tab right here leave the products as as it is let's go for tax and here you can see we have several tax options like standard rate reduced rate zero rate and if you want to add tax class you can come to this section leave these option as it is come over here and press enter and you will go to the next line and expand this one so that you can work properly and here you can type the tax class according to your country if you live in usa i think there is a vat you can type vat i don't know but in my country there is a gst i can type gst but as you know i'm not doing a drop shipping in india so i'll stick with the default tax class in fact i'm gonna delete all of them and i'm gonna click on save changes the only thing i have here is the standard rate i'm gonna open this up so here i'm gonna create a tax rate for united states the way i like to do i can click on the insert row and here i can type the country code for usa i can type us and select united states type the state code zip code or post code or city rate tax name rate percentage tax name and priority and compound and shipping instead of creating the tax rate for each city or each state i have another option for you guys what you can do is first of all let's remove that row you can download a tax rate csv file that you can find in the video description because i've already created a standard rate for us country go ahead download that file and let's import that file click on import csv file and click on leave page click on browse i have that file over here so i'm gonna select the file click open and click on upload file and import it says all done now you can go back to woocommerce settings go to text click on standard rate and there you go guys you can see that all the data has been imported just by using that csv file so it will save your lot of time just by using that file okay so after doing it let's go to shipping and here you have to create a shipping zone which is very important since we are doing a drop shipping there is enough margin so we will create only free shipping to do it let's click on add shipping zone type the zone name i'm gonna call it free shipping select the zone region united states entire united states okay if you are doing your drop shipping in other countries you can select the countries multiple countries from here you can add as many countries as you want if you want to learn the advanced shipping method you can do one thing you can come to my channel in search for shipping type shipping press enter and you will see this woocommerce tutorial advanced shipping tutorial basic plus advanced shipping setup go ahead watch that video additionally i'll be creating a newly updated advanced shipping tutorial as well that you can find on my channel so make sure if you are new to this channel consider subscribing anyways come back to this page and here you have to click on save changes after that click on add shipping method here you have to select the free shipping click on add shipping method and then you can click on edit button and here you can add a condition to the free shipping for example free shipping required what right now by default it says not available you can add a condition like a valid free shipping coupon minimum order amount minimum order amount or coupons minimum order amount and coupon code it's all up to you i basically leave this as it is click on save changes and there you go and you have created your shipping zone for your dropshipping website let's proceed with the next tab i'm gonna skip the payment tab right now we will come back to this tab but let's look at the another tabs right here account and privacy and here make sure you check the first and three option allow customer to log in into existing account during checkout is right allow customer to create an account during checkout yes this is also important allow customer to create an account on my account page uh make sure you uncheck that one uh, when creating an account automatically generate an account username 
for customer based on their name and server. This is also a good option to check when creating an account, send a new user link to set their password. Check this option only if you have SMTP set up on your website. Otherwise, your customer won't receive any link. Okay, so make sure you check this option only if you have SMTP set up on your website. So I'm gonna leave it unchecked. And next, scroll down, click on save changes. Rest of things are good here. Okay, let's go to emails and make sure first three emails should be your. Click on manage if you want to change it. Okay, from here you can change your email. And don't forget to add your business email, guys. This is the Gmail account. You should add your own business email. If you want to know how to create a business email, drop your comment in the comment section below and I'll create that video for you guys anyways leave the integration and advanced tab let's go to the payments tab and here you can see by default there is a one two three types of payment gateway you can add different types of payment gateway in your woocommerce plugin because there are several options out there like stripe razorpay paypal upi for woocommerce i live in india and i like to drop ship in united states so I have an option like PayPal. If I go for Stripe, my Stripe account won't be able to accept the international payments. There is a reason behind that. But if you want to know how to accept payments using Stripe, I will create a separate video for you guys if you want to know how to accept international payments using Stripe. Okay. But right now, PayPal is a capable of accepting payments from USA because I'm from India, you know that. So I'm going to install PayPal plugins, but I'm not going to install this plugin by clicking on the get started button i have another option i'll show you how to install a paypal so anyways let's go ahead and install a paypal plugin in order to add the payment gateway of paypal to do it hover your mouse over plugins and click on add new right click open link in a new tab and now i'm going to install a paypal wait for it and search for paypal and you have to install and activate this one payments plugin for paypal woocommerce click on install and activate the plugin So after installing this plugin, you will see pop-up screen like this. Don't worry, just close the tab and come back to this tab where we left off and let's refresh the page and you will see the PayPal plugin right over here. So as you can see that PayPal gateway is now available inside your WooCommerce plugin. First, you have to enable this option and click on save changes. After that, click on manage button beside the PayPal gateway and here you can see that plugin is enabled but you have to connect this plugin with your own PayPal account. Let's go to API settings tab. And here you can see that there is an environment option. Under the environment, we have the sandbox and the production. If you go with the sandbox, it is basically a test payment option that allow you to test out the payments. If you are ready to accept real payments from real customer, go for production. That what we're going to look at this video. Select the production and click on connect to PayPal button over here. Click to connect, it will open a new window. And here, guys, you have to type your email, your PayPal email. If you don't have a PayPal account, you have to create one. And in this video, I'm not going to show you guys how to create a PayPal account. Basically, you have to create a business PayPal account. Select your country and click on next. It will show you some error. Click on login because it says this email is already existed. Click on login, it will open the login window. If this still not show you the login window, don't worry, click on next. And now let's go ahead. Oh, all right. Now you can see the login window. Sometimes this happens. When you see the login window, type in the your PayPal email and password. Click on login. And now I have to type my security code, two-factor authentication code, which is very important. You know that. So after typing the authenticate code, click on continue. I click on agree and connect. All right, guys. So as you can see that PayPal account has been connected with this plugin status says connected. And it also bring all the information like production client ID, secret key, webhook URL as well. Now, all you have to do, click on save changes and we are done with the PayPal payment gateway. Let's click on the payments tab once again and make sure this is turned on. After confirming that we're done with the payments gateway. Now you're ready to accept real payment from real customer. Your customer can pay the amount via debit card, credit card, or they can use their own PayPal account if they have one. 
okay that's a totally option but everyone has debit card and credit card and i think that is enough okay however if any case you want to know how to set up other types of payment gateway go ahead visit my channel and search the video if that type of video is not available you can do one thing you can join my whatsapp group or you can join my telegram that you can find in video description and ask for that particular video tutorial that's all you have to do guys anyways come back here let's go to the dashboard and let's proceed with the next step all right guys so this is a step that you all waiting for in this step we are going to look at how to import products from dropshipping supplier for free okay so before we import the products you have to do one thing you have to go to the products all products and here you will see all the dummy or sample products listed over here and you can see 36 products are published you have to delete these products one by one or you can select all of them by checking this box now you can see that there is a two pages if you want to select all 36 product at once click on the screen option and here you can change the number like 40 click apply and now you can see 40 items per page okay select all of them go to the uh, bulk option bulk action drop down menu click on move to trash and click apply and all those product will removed from your site but right now i'm not going to remove them i'm going to keep it as it is just sake for the video tutorial okay but in your case you have to remove them because you are not selling them okay these are the dummy products now let's look at how you can import the products on your site open a new tab and type in this url runnersvfx slash cj drop shipping and it will take you to cj drop shipping website and this is the best website out there that provide you a free drop shipping service and not only free drop shipping service it also provide you trending and viral products for free okay because most of the companies out there charge for this type of features cj drop shipping gives you trending product that can go viral so you can see that these are the new newly launched product and these are the trending products and moreover if you look at this banner you can see that a winning product you can open link in a new tab and it will show you a separate page where you can see all those winning products right over here most of the product has a video that you can share on your social media or in the bio you can add your website link or the product link okay let's close this out and let me show you how you can import a product from cj dropshipping in order to import the product first you have to register on cj dropshipping just by clicking on a register button and you have to fill in the simple sign up form like this now here you have to fill in the quick sign up form you can type in your email and password or you can use the social media accounts like google account facebook whatsapp apple and shopify so let's fill in the simple sign up form after typing your password enable this option i have the invitation code here please type my referral code that will help this channel to grow that you can find in the video description so right now i'm gonna uncheck this one by checking this box you are agree user agreement and privacy policy click next and make sure you type in the username first name last name and your phone number and click on confirm i think i typed something wrong over here click confirm click save okay so now registration has been completed successfully you can skip this now it says that you have to verify your email let's open your mailbox and here you can see we received the email from cj dropshipping let's open it up and you have to confirm your account just by clicking on the link okay let's click on confirm so your account has been successfully activated click on never remind me again let's close this out and now close other tabs and we have the cj dropshipping one tab so now let's see how you can connect this cj dropshipping account with your dropshipping website have you mouse over authorization and select woocommerce and now click on add store there is a two ways to authorize your dropshipping store the default one and the auth plugin this way if you select the second option you have to type in the url client key and the secret first let's try the default one here type in your site address come back here copy the url let's go to cj dropshipping 
paste the URL over here, click authorize and let's see if this works. No, it's not working right now. Let's go back. I think there might be a SSL issue. Let's try to connect our full commerce with the auth plugin, authentication plugin. Come back here, your dashboard, go to plugins, click on add new and come over here and search for CJ dropshipping. Let's install this plugin. Now click on activate to activate the plugin. Now it will take you to this page. Click on connect and let's see if this works. So this plugin is not working right now. Let's try a different one. That's how you mouse our plugins. Add new and come over here and search for WordPress Reset API Auth 1.0a server. After typing this, you have to install this one. Click on install now and activate the plugin. Once you install and activate the plugin, now hover your mouse over user and click on application. Now click on add new. Under the consumer name, type in the CJ dropshipping. In the description, type the CJ dropshipping URL like this. Copy the entire URL. Come back here, paste the URL and make sure you type in www.cjdropshipping under the description and make sure you type in the same URL in the callback, okay? After that, you have to click on add consumer and here you will get the client key and secret. Let's copy the client key, come back to your CJ dropshipping. Let's close this one, come back here, paste the client key, come back to your site and copy the secret key. Copy, control C to copy, control V to paste over here. And here make sure you type your website URL, copy your website URL, paste in over here. And now let's see if this works. Click next, the store ID, I think to remove this one. And this, let's click next, incorrect key. It says incorrect, why is that? Let's go here, the default one. Let's click on authorize and let's see, it's not authorizing. Let's click on add store once again, click on auth plugin, type in the site URL, copy the client key, paste the secret key and now click on next. And let's see authorize fail possible, incorrect key. Let me generate a key once again. Okay, I have a new key, let's copy the key. Click on next, still error. I think SSL might cause this problem. Let me install SSL on this website and let's see if I able to connect my WooCommerce plugin with CJ Dropshipping. I'm going back over the Infinity Free. So I'm gonna quickly install SSL and I'll come back once I'm done. All right guys, so I'm back. I've installed the SSL certificate. As you can see, connection is secure. Let's inscript SSL certificate has been installed. Let me go back to the site and refresh the page. Let me log in. Okay, I like to make some changes over here under the callback and make sure the CG dropshipping name is correct and click on save consumer. Let's generate the secret key. Once again, just copy the key, come back to your CJ dropshipping, refresh the page and make sure you have selected your WooCommerce. Click on add store. Let's select the auth plugin, paste your client key and Copy your client secret, paste the secret over here and here make sure you type in your site address, copy, paste and I think it won't work unless I remove the HTTP, HTTPS, site URL should like this, click next and let's see. So as you can see that we have some progress over here, you will see this pop up option, click on this option button, allow pop up for CG dropshipping, it will open a new window and click on authorize and you will see your verification token. Let's copy the token, come back here, paste and enter the code, your token and click authorize. And there you go guys, you can see we have successfully authorized our dropshipping website with cjdropshipping.com. So I had a doubt like why this CJ dropshipping is not connecting with my WordPress website. It was showing an error just because of my website does not have the SSL certificate. But right now it has SSL certificate. So that's why we are able to connect our CJ dropshipping with our WordPress website. So once you connect your website with CJ dropshipping, now it's time to import the product from CJ dropshipping to your WordPress dropshipping website. Let's go to CJ dropshipping homepage. And here you can see we have the 2023 Halloween goods. Let's open this up 
and you can close these other tabs as well because we don't really need them okay and here you can see all the Halloween's product that you can import directly inside your website if you like one of them you can select the product and click import but remember we are working with the automobile or vehicle niche so I need to look for the product that are related to cars or any type of vehicles okay basically I need to find the tools that help the car owner or maybe other types of vehicle owners to solve their problems for example you can see this gadget right here if I open this product in a new tab by simply clicking on it and this is a magnetic bendable car mobile phone holder and you know you should select the product that solves the problem and not easily available on local market or on popular site like Amazon or eBay you should find that type of product okay once you find that type of product it's time to import it so I think this is going to be a perfect product for my dropshipping store so I want to import this the way to import the product you have to scroll down and click on the list button and here you can see the pop-up screen where it shows you the store how many stores you have you have only one store and next you will find the shipping information shipping from China warehouse ship my order most to United States shipping method you can see there's a two shipping method and sensitive pro and the fast US when you select other shipping method you can see the shipping cost will change so select the shipping method that has that has a less shipping cost and the delivery time should be short as well okay so right now but this shipping method cost you 6.43 to seven dollar 73 cent and if you go with this one you can see it is a just little bit expensive but the delivery time is a way less you can see that six to ten days so i think you should select this type of shipping method that provides you the fast delivery okay next select the category of your website if you don't have a category you can create a new one or you can do one thing you can create the category after importing the product so right now I'm gonna click on add new category I'm gonna type the category name I'm gonna call it auto gadgets and click on confirm and now I'm gonna select that category that I've created and below you can see we have two tabs variation and reviews under the variation tab you can see all the information about those variation we have the color we have RRP CJ price shipping uh, fee and we have the service fee and the total drop shipping cost and this will be the section where you can enter your price so on CJ drop shipping it will cost you $25.65 for this variation and for this variation this is the price and now you can name your price over here if you do not know how to name the price you can click on this recommended listing price button it will automatically list the price for you as you can see okay so it automatically lists the price for you guys even you are providing a free shipping on your website but you still have your profit as you can see if you think this is too much you can reduce it it's all up to you once you do it click on list it now or you can edit this product even more but I recommend you to edit your product after importing the product on your website so right now click on list it now and let's see if this works listing in progress you may check the listing status on on listing section or listing product can be managed on in the listed boom guys as you can see listed successfully now you can close this out let's go to your website and let's see if we have that product click on the products or you can hover your mouse over products click on all products and let's see all right guys so as you can see that we have that product on our dropshipping store now let's view the product and let's see okay buddy so you can see that we have each and everything that we have on our CJ dropshipping account so you can see we have the title and we have the color variation and we have the gallery images if you scroll down you can see we have the description long description with each and everything like images we have we have imported the images as well okay and moreover we have the additional information have the reviews I think you can import reviews as well I don't know but let's see if there is a way to import the reviews let's click on the reviews tab is this product has a reviews let's scroll down this product does not have any reviews I think 
Yeah, there is a review section right here. This product has a review. Let's try to import the review. Export review. You can import product review to your Shopify store. It says only Shopify store, but I don't think we can import the reviews. Let's click on the list button and it says already published on your store. No problem. No, I think, yeah, I think we can select all the reviews and click on list it now. We select the category. Okay, let's go for same category. Click on list it now. We forget to check this option guys. Okay, so make sure if you want to import the reviews, select all the reviews or you can select only top uh, five star reviews or four star, three star. It's all up to you and then start importing your product. So there is a way to import the reviews as well. Click on list it now. Select your store. It is so right now. I cannot import the same product, but let's import different product and let's see if we able to import the reviews. Let's import this one. Okay, so let's click on list button. Select the category. I'm gonna select the same category. Shipping method fast US. This is fine. Eleven dollar will be the shipping cost. If you do not like this, you can select the ordinary or you can go through these shipping method. There is a way more shipping method, guys, but. I think this will be work for me because I like to provide my uh, provide the product to my customer as fast as possible. So I go with that and then I'm going to click on recommended listing price. I think there is a no reviews for this product. So I don't think this is a good product. So no reviews. Close this out. Let's find a different product. Product with reviews. I need to find a product with reviews. Let's search for car accessory car gadgets car accessory okay let's go for car access let's import these funny pig funny piggy creative cartoon cute car decorate decoration let's import this one i think this product has a review no this product doesn't have. i'm looking for the product that has reviews so let me quickly find a product who has reviews and i'll see you guys after finding it all right guys so finally i find the product that related to my niche and has a review okay so let's import this one click on list button and select your website and shipping from china warehouse ship to united states and select your shipping method okay this is fine select the category and now you can name the price or you can click on recommended listing price and now after doing it click on reviews tab and import the reviews that you want okay now click on list now and let's see listing in progress you may check the listing status in on listing section listed product can be managed in listed section all right let's close this out listed successfully now let's go to your website refresh the page under your products all products boom as you can see we have imported the another product in the similar way you can import as many product as you want but if you may notice that when you import a product, it goes to the published section, guys. Okay. The f and here you can edit your product and make it as your friendly if you want to do organic drop shipping. Okay. But don't worry, I'll show you the fastest way to start your dropshipping business and make sale. Okay. Organically takes time and requires some SEO expertise. Let's view the product first and I'll show you what are things you should change inside your product. So you can see we have imported this car charger and now you can see we have the title. This isn't a perfect title for your product. I'll show you what to type and we have import the variation color and model. Okay. And we have the images of the product. And you can see we have the description, long description, including images. Scroll up and we have the additional information about the product and we have the reviews as you can see. Fantastic guys. So you can see with this reviews, your customer find out that others also buying this product and uh, leaving a good reviews of this product in that way there is a most likely a chance you will get a sale of the product okay so i highly recommend you to import the product with good reviews and the product having at least four to five reviews okay make sure you import that type of product now let's close this out and let's see how to edit the product and what are the things you should keep or what are the things you should remove from your product? First thing first, you should remove the unwanted text from your title. Title shouldn't be like this. This is a long title. The title should be small guys. 
Let me change a title and show you the example metal car charger and what are charging. Or you can do one thing, you can just copy the long title or go to ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to short this product title. Paste the title, press enter and let's see. So you can see it shortened the title but we want more shortened title but it is still long title. Can you make it, can you make it more? Let's see. Okay, so you can see we have this much title earlier we have this much long title now we have this title okay this is a good title let's come back to your site and that all paste the title now we are good here we have 100 watt metal car charger with usb and a type c board okay so we are good here and next thing you can do is you can ask this chat gpt to can you write the product description can you write the product description for title wide me provided me description see okay buddy so you can see it start writing the description as you know i'm using a free plan of chat gpt if you have a premium plan it will give you more information or it may write better description for this product page or you can ask him write 500 words you can ask don't forget to say please and let's see so now you can see it gives you 500 word product description. Let's copy the description. Since we are not doing a organic drop shipping, in that case, you can just copy and paste AI generated content on your website. But if you're doing a organic drop shipping, then in that case, you should spin that title, spin that content website, okay? So right now, I'm just adding that content. In your case, you can remove that content and add that content. Since this information is not relevant to this product, so I'm not going to add that. To make sure the information that you are getting from ChatGPT should be relevant to the product where you are adding content generated by the ChatGPT. Okay. So after that, you can see we have the images. Make sure you add the high quality images of the product. These are the high quality images. And remember that if there is any watermark of CJ drop shipping, remove that image and add your own image. You can use Photoshop to remove that watermark. If you do not have expertise, you can use Canva free account to edit your images. And one more thing, if you want to create a stunning product photos, you can go to my channel and you can watch this video right here, how to generate ultimate product photos or images for e-commerce website, okay? Go ahead, watch this video and learn how to generate unlimited product photos that bring sales, okay? After that, make sure the product set to right category, add some tags. And rest of the things are good here. We are not creating a SEO friendly product. These are the things you should keep in your account before displaying this product to your customer. Click on update and there you go. So this is how you edit your product. Let's go to the dashboard and let's proceed with the next step. Okay, so in this step, we are going to look at how to customize your dropshipping website. So first of all, let me close all those tabs because we don't really need them. Anyways, let's go to your backend of your site. How you mouse over here, visit site in a new tab and you can see this is the look of your site. Scroll down and there you go. You will find all the trending products over here and these are the dummy products as you know and these are the products that we have imported from CJ drop shipping and you can see when you hover your mouse over here you will see the select option button and you can see the compare button over here as well that's why i like this thing and this is a simple product and this is a variable product guys so that's why you are seeing this type of option in order to customize this website there are a few ways this page is a design with the Elementor page builder. To edit this page, you have to click on the edit with Elementor button. Your uh, site does not have the default kit. Let's click on the recreate kit button. Sometimes this happens and let's click on this button recreate kit under the tools, under the Elementor's tools. When you see the checkbox, click on save changes. Let's go back to your site. Let's close this tab and now Visit your site once again and let's see. Click on add it with Elementor. So now this is the Elementor page builder. In the left hand side you will see all the elements 
that you can use to edit your website. In the middle, you will see all the elements that has been added on your site. And this is the navigator window. If you've never seen Elementor page builder before, this is a drag and drop editor to design a web pages. Okay. By using the navigator window, you can navigate through these sections. Under the section, you can see the columns, how many columns there. In the section one, this is the entire section that we have selected. You can select the section from here or you can select the section from here. When you select any item, you can see the editing section from the left hand side where you can edit that particular section. Okay. So under the set, first section, you can see where the column one, which is right here. And the this column, we have the inner section, which is this one. This is the inner section. And we under the inner, inner section, we have two more columns. This one, if I click on this I icon, I can hide that particular column. Okay. I can bring back that column as well just by clicking on that eyeball. Now let's expand the this column and you can see we have the image. You can replace this image with your own or basically you can replace this product image with your own product image. For example, if you want to display the popular product of your website, you can display that particular product on that section. This is basically a feature section guys of your website. So remember that display your top product over here. And next, you can see we have this button right here. When you display the product, don't forget to edit this button. And here you can see the button text. You can replace this button text with your own. You can type anything you like and that this button text will be changed. You can type something like shop from here. You can basically type whatever you want. Okay. And this is the link. If this is a car charger, then make sure you add the link of your product. This is the car charger product link. Copy the link, paste it over here, delete the hash and paste the link and rest of the things are good here. Click on update and when someone try to click on this link, let me open the website in a new tab and I'll, let me show you when someone try to click on the shop now button and you can see that particular person will land on this product page from where they can buy this product. Okay. So remember to remove these images with your own images and you can change literally anything that you like. Just highlight the text, start typing your own text. That simple. So if you like the look of this design, you can keep it as it is, or you can create your own design with your own creativity. Okay. This is basically drag and drop editor guys. You know that it's all about creativity. Spend some time and customize literally any item that you like. Just click on that pencil icon and start editing your element okay you can change the button text button link button size literally anything you can do it from here there's a three uh, tabs here content tab style tab in the style tab you can stylize your items that you have selected in the advanced tab you can uh, add the margin padding so on and so forth pretty simple and if you do not know what type of item has been added over here you can simply go through that particular section Let's select the section uh, third and here you can see expand that one. Click on this column, expand the column. You can see we have the spacer, which is right here. We have the heading, which is this one trending product. We have the spacer once again, and you can see uh, space is a 10 pixel and we have the product simple add on. This is the product add on. When you add that item, let me show you how to add the similar item. Go to this uh, nine dot icon and search the same item the name is products simple add-on this one when you add that particular item let me drag and drop the item over here when you add that you can see number of products how many products you want to display and you can display all products or a specific category or whatever type of item you want to display you can display over here okay like this awesome right so let me delete this one, right click and delete using the navigator window. And now let's look at the other sections. Basically guys, you can add it the section from the navigation window or you can select the section from here and start editing that particular section. So I don't want to waste your time to show you things which is already self-explanatory. 
So spend some time and customize your website according to your creativity or your preferences. Once you finish designing your website, let's look at the other section like how to edit menu, how to replace the logo with your own. And let's see how you can do it. Let's click on the navigation menu and click on exit. Decide later. Now close this out. Now click over here. Let's visit your site. Now another way to customize this website or you can see this home page. Click on the customize button. And here you can see this is the default WordPress customization section. Some of these element comes with the, the shop mania theme and some of these elements or section comes with the default WordPress. And this section came from the WooCommerce plugin guys. Anyways, let's customize the site from here and go through these section one by one. First, we have the site identity. Hey, you can replace this logo with your own logo. You can remove this logo or you can change the logo from here. You can upload a logo or you can select the logo from the media library if you already have uploaded your icon. Okay, let's upload icon. Okay, after uploading the icon, click on select. Click on skip cropping and let's see. So you can see that icon has been uploaded successfully and you still have option to change the site title and tagline. You can display the site title if you want and you can display the tagline as well. So this not looking good, logo would be enough and don't forget to change your site icon. This is going to be your Fabicon icon like this one. As you can see this cPanel icon and this is infinity free icon, this is YouTube icon. In the similar way, you can add your site icon like this. Okay, so uh, let me select the icon, click on crop image this time. Now click on publish and you can see the recommended size from here. Make sure your favicon icon size should be this pixel. Okay, once you add those things, let's go back. Let's go for another section, total color and background option. And here you can change the color of your theme whatever color you like. Let me copy the color code just for the backup. And as you can see, it's changing the color. I like this color. I'm going to click on publish. You can change the background color if you want. I'm going to leave it this color as it is. Go back. So in the similar way, go through the section one by one and start customizing your section however you like. Okay. You can add a background image in your header section if you want and see if that looks good on your site or not. If not, remove it. In the menu, we have the menus, endpoint, and main. In the main, you can see we have the home, we have shop, we have blog, and we have the bestseller, sale product, and we have the contact us. You can add more items into this menu or you can remove any item from this menu if you want, okay? Let me show you how to add items. Click on the add item button. And from here, you can add as many items as you want from any of these categories. You can add items from the pages, post, landing pages, product, categories, tags, product category, whatever you like. Or you can add a custom links as well. For example, you can add download our app. In the link text, type hash just for now. Later, I may show you how to create app for your website so that you can provide your app or you can upload that app on Google Play Store. Let's click on add to menu. Okay, I think I do something wrong. Here should be the text. Here goes the link. Okay, click on add to menu. I did the opposite. So I've added the download our app into the menu. If you want to add more items, click on add item and let's add something like blog once more time. And you can see we have added this item as well. If you want to create a drop down menu, all you have to do just drag any item and drop it wherever you like to create a drop down menu. And now you can see we have the drop down menu under the contact us. To see that drop down menu, I think I have to click on publish. Let's close this out and let's see. You can see we have the drop down menu under the contact us. Let's go back to organization and let me show you how to remove any item from the menu. Expand that, click remove, and that item will be removed. Okay. Now click on publish. 
after making any changes to your site. Okay, let's look at the endpoints. So here you can see in the endpoints, we have the order, download, address, and account detail button. And let's go back, which is absolutely fine. And let's look at the menu locations. You can see we have the menu one and we have one location for this menu only. Okay, let's go back here. You can create as many menu as you want and add those type of menus wherever you like. Okay, so we have the widgets, we have the widget one above header widget, and we have so on and so forth. So you don't have to change anything under the widgets. Home page settings, absolutely fine. WooCommerce, single product page. You have to open the product page first. Force to disable the sidebar in the product page. Make sure you check it. If you uncheck this, you might see the sidebar. Now there is a no sidebar. So still, I like to check this option. I don't want to show the sidebar. I want to visible my product page full width. Okay, let's go back. Everything is good here. Future, I might show you how to create a Amazon affiliate dropshipping website. Anyways, let's close this out. We are good here. In the similar way, guys, you can customize your footer, each and everything using two options. Okay. All right, guys. So now let me close this out. Come back here. And now let's go to the dashboard and let's proceed with the next step. Okay, buddy. So now let's look at the theme hunk features that must be useful for you. Let's go to your back end of your site and have your mouse over theme hunk. And we have the uh, product comparison. Let's open link in a new tab. And here you can see some settings, basic settings, link or button you want to display, button, link or button text, compare, or you can change it from compare to whatever you like. It's all up to you. Number of the products to compare, you can increase or decrease the number from here. In fact, let me show you the front end of your site. Let's visit site in a new tab. And let's see, let's add some products under the compare list. Let's add this one and let's add this one and let's, and let's add this one. When someone add those product under the compare list, when they click on the compare button, they can compare those product from here, they can add maximum eight products. Let me show you. For there, five, six, seven, eight. They cannot add more, I think. Yeah, they cannot add more than eight products. Let's click on compare. Now everyone can compare these product as per their liking. If they want to remove any of this product, they can click on the cross button and they can remove it. Let me remove all of them one by one. Okay, so my compare list is empty. Let's come back to the section. Here you can increase or decrease the number. Display compare button, product single page, or shop and archive page. Where you like to come show this uh, compare button. Okay, so if you don't want to show this compare button on these pages, uncheck it. So I think this is the right one. Let's look at the other advanced and here you can see field to show in compare table. It's uh, you can see by default it's set to image, title, rating, price, add to cart. If you want to display the description you can do that as well but I think this is not a good idea. If you select the description it will cover the whole comparison page. So in that case you can leave it as it is. By default it's it's a good one. It has a premium version as well, help section and theme hunk useful plugins as well. If you want to explore them, you can go ahead, explore these plugins. And this variation swatches, I think is a free one. Let's open this plugin in a new tab. And let's see, you can see the variation swatches plugin is a free one. You are free to download this plugin. If you want to view the demo, go ahead, View the demo. So you can see when you install this plugin, your variation or your variable products look like this. Or your variation will turn into these swatches. Right now, your product variation looks like this. Let me show you. So right now, you see the variation like this. Boring type of variation. 
ordinary variation okay so if you want your variation like this you can download this variation swatches plugin for free and turn your simple variation into this if you want to know how to set up this variation plugin i will create a separate video for you so stay tuned with this channel and subscribe if you haven't already anyways close this out and let's look at the other features of themeunk uh, we have the product comparison we have the advanced search under the advanced search you can see we have the several settings we have the integration under the integration you don't have to change anything basic settings you can change uh, minimum character one minimum character to show auto completed okay next we have the max weight unable submit button make sure you check that one uh, you can change the label of that submitted button you can uh, placeholder text search would be fine and by default it's okay you don't have to change anything but i want to show you these are things also available on your website guys in case you want to change something you can change it from here okay so that's why i'm showing you these things select a search type product post or pages product because we are doing a drop shipping so it should be a product uh, limit five show result how many results you want to show five six ten it's all up to you label if there is a no search result up here then what should be up here to your customer you can change it from here and by default these are the good one if you want to change anything go ahead change anything you like style you can stylize your website just by changing the color search analytics this is a advanced option if you want to mess up with your website code go ahead apply this uh, code into your function.php file but there is a warning if you do not know anything about coding don't mess with your website just by changing the function.php file anyways next we have the premium tab here you can see these are the premium and pro plugins that you can use on your website if you want to take your website to the next level but i think if you're just getting started this is free one is more than enough but in any case in future when you make some money with your dropshipping website and want to expand your website go ahead buy those plugins if you want if you want those features on your site useful plugins again i don't know these are the free one or not let's see pop up is also free guys i will create a video on that as well this plugin is a paid plugin but comes with the free version which we already have on this website you can see the lead form builder but before that let's look at aio vucart all in one vucart i think here you can see we have the all in one vucart integration the short code that you can use next we have the general option here you can change according to your preferences by default it's a pretty much okay for me yeah you don't have to change anything over here as well lead form builder when you import the site dummy site or demo site you import the contact us form as well if you edit the form you can see this is the form that has been created by default this is the heading you can change the heading if you want you can change something like contact me contact us need help whatever you want to type you can type in over here this form is visible on your home page of your site let me show you visit your site and you can see this is the contact us form that's click over here and you can see this is the form that has been created by default if someone try to contact you they can fill this form and you will get a message on your website where you will get message well you will get a message under the view lead section if you click over here you can see there is a no lead let's go to form list and let's add the form or you can create a new one by clicking on add new button but i recommend you to add this form because these fields are the good ones if you want to add more fields you can click over here add new and here you can select the field type uh, let's go for uh, date of birth and let's type something like type your dob here i'm going to type default value should be dov and i'm going to check this option as well and this is a required field as well and finally there must be a submitted button okay after making any changes to this form don't forget to click on update form it will keep your changes saved now let's look at some settings of this form 
email settings we have email settings and this is the admin uh, email notification this person will receive a notification when someone uh, submit the form you can type in the multiple emails in here and we have the form email it should be the same email like over here okay rest of the things are good and in the right side a user email notification and form email and the header email and the subject received a lead and form submitted successfully okay so by default this is a good one you don't have to change anything if you want to enable captcha on your site you have to add the site key and secret key in order to get that key you have to click on the link and it will take you to google recaptcha website and this is in the tutorial to show you guys how to enable the captcha if i show you literally each and every single detail then this video will going to waste your time so for that particular tutorial i will create a separate video if you want to know how to enable a uh, captcha on your site drop your comment in the comment section below and i'll create a separate video for you guys anyways uh, let's go to the settings and here you can see we have the lead receiving method if you want to save leads in your emails select the first option if you want to save leads in a database select the second option if you want to save leads on both select the third option okay so i'll go with the third option click on update that's it pretty much it your lead form has been created successfully so with that we are done with this step now let's move to the next step let's go to the dashboard all right guys so in this step we're going to look at how to create a coupons code so that you can provide a best discount to your customer how you mouse over woocommerce and click on coupons and let's see how to create a coupons code and you will see the button right here add coupon or you can click over here both are the same thing create your first coupon click over here type the name of the coupon code i'm going to call it auto 10 and below you can leave the description as it is and you can see discount type fix card discount percentage discount fix product discount let's go for percentage discount and coupon amount 10% allow free shipping check this box if the coupon grants a free shipping remember we had created the free shipping in that time we had the condition or select a coupon code or order value remember that so this is the feature for that particular shipping method okay so i'm going to uncheck it coupon expiry date here you can add the expiry date user restrictions you can add a restriction minimum spend no minimum spend maximum spend no maximum spend if there is any minimum and maximum spend you can add that value over here next we have the individual use only if there is a multiple coupons applied on one single product then this coupon won't work if you check this box okay exclude sale items uh check this box if this coupon should not apply to the items on sale if there is a any item under sale this coupon won't apply if you check this box next we have the product if you want to apply this coupon code on a uh, particular product you can add this coupon code on that particular product for example let's say if uh, search for car charger i think yeah this one car phone holder or car uh, this one car charger so you can select this product or you can exclude product for example i don't want to apply this coupon code on my this product or that product okay you can exclude or you can include the product like i mentioned earlier you can apply the coupon code on particular category you can select the category apply this coupon code on auto gadgets entire category okay you can do that as well exclude category allowed emails only this person allowed to apply the coupon code not nobody else can apply the coupon code this is the another options that you can add on your website okay a users limit uh users limit per coupon are limited users or you can type something like one time two time it's all up to you limit users to x items apply to all qualified items in the cart users limit per users unlimited users or you can type the number over here or you can type the number over here as well just click on publish button and your coupon code will be created there you go let's go to coupons under the market and you can see we have created this coupon code and now you can share the coupon code just by running a promotion bar over here or you can add the coupon code on anywhere on your website 
when someone land on your website they will see the coupon code and they will more excited to buy the product on your website okay so this is how you create a coupon code let's move to the next step let's go to the dashboard all right guys so now in this step we're going to look at how to create e-commerce pages and which is the most important page going to be for your dropship website okay so open up a new tab and type in this url you will find the same url in the video description press enter and it will take you to this page where you can type the password in order to access this page password will be in the video description once you type the password click enter and the page will open and here you will see the table of contents in this table of content you can see the privacy terms and condition frequent ask questions payment method shipping delivery return and refund policy about us and contact us page and these are the essential pages that you should add on your website but the most important page is this one return and refund policy you must add this page on your dropship website this is very important guys make sure add this refund and return policy page link on every single product page add the link of this a page in the description or maybe in a short description section so that everyone who is trying to buy a product on your website can read the refund and return policy of your website okay so go ahead click any of the page that you want to create for example you want to create a refund and return policy click on that it will take you to that section and here all you have to do just copy the entire text okay till here just copy the text come back to your site go to pages add new in the uh, description paste that entire refund and return policy type the title copy the title from here paste the title and make sure you read the refund and return policy if it best for your business go ahead keep it as it is and if this not best for your business you can make some changes or you can create your own return and refund policy okay it's all up to you i'm giving you a template that everyone can use right away on their e-commerce website okay so here you can see this sample email here make sure you type in your own business email if you have otherwise you can type in your regular email over here okay if you find something like and if you find any type of url on any of these pages make sure you replace that domain name with your own okay and that the all thing you have to do copy all the pages and add those pages on your website click on publish hit publish once again and that page will be published okay like this beautiful refund and return policy page you have it let's go to the dashboard once again and now let's proceed with the next step all right guys so it's time to show you how you can promote your product without spending any money at all i'll share my personal method to promote the product what i usually do i create four to five videos of a product when you import a product from cj drop shipping sometime you get a video with that product and sometime you doesn't get a video and first talk about if your product has a video in it if your imported product has a video you can create several variation of that video like three to four variation of one single product video you can use free editing software out there like you can use CapCut, DaVinci Resolve or there are several other free software editing software out there that can help you to create different types of effect on a single uh, video create a different variation of the single video and publish that video on popular platforms like TikTok and Facebook my personal experience when you upload a video on TikTok it takes two or three days to viral your videos because TikTok organically pushes a new video to a new audience on the other hand Instagram takes month to get some views so I personally prefer TikTok to get organic and free traffic to my site or on my product page another free platform that you can use you can use Pinterest on Pinterest create a different types of product images and of course you can upload videos of that particular product and upload that type of video on Pinterest you can do one thing you can post photos more than a videos on Pinterest when you upload a photos or images of the product amazing images high quality images 
people attract to that product and you will get traffic on your product page now let's talk about what if your product does not have a video if your product does not have a video you can do one thing you can go to my channel and you will find this video let me show you this one free AI tool generator unlimited product images for e-commerce website watch this video and you will learn how to create stunning product images with free AI tools create different different types of beautiful product images and then use that images to create a video vertical videos when you have images you can go to canva.com and here you can search for YouTube shorts or maybe Instagram reels our point is to create a vertical videos guys just find the template and here you can see with a Canva free account you will get several of free template that you can use but in this case select a blank template and add your AI generated product images over here and create your vertical video of that particular product and there you have it you got your video to publish okay so this isn't a canva tutorial where i'll show you how to create a product video from the images so go ahead and use your brain and play around with canva because canva you know is a drag and drop editor to create a videos however if you still want me to show you guys how to create product videos from the images AI generated images of your product i'm more happy to show you guys how to create those type of videos just drop your comments in the comment section below so that i can find out somebody's asking for that video okay drop your comments anyways that's pretty much it guys create four to five vertical videos post daily basis on your social media platforms and hopefully within a two or three weeks you'll get your first sale once you get your sale then you can extend your business with email marketing okay so if you do not know about email marketing and i'll show you how you can set a repeat purchase on your website with email marketing on autopilot so feel free to drop your comments i'm here to help you guys in return i'm just asking a one like that's the pretty much it that being said goodbye till then see you bye bye